Hi there and welcome back. In continuation with this endocrine system, enough on the pituitary gland and hypothalamus, let's move on. Let's talk about the thyroid gland. So thyroid gland does so many things throughout our body, ultimately converting the food into the energy. So it does a lot. It regulates the heart rate, the blood pressure, the body temperature, you name it. So they are essential and they are practically needed by every cell in our body, okay? Because they does ultimately the metabolism and it can help children grow and develop, goes without saying. So I was looking at the picture and then maybe we can better connect. So we are talking about the thyroid gland, right? We talked about the pituitary and hypothalamus. Uh, now we are going to cover the thyroid and then the parathyroid. So it is needed by every cell and some of the some of the hormones released by some of the organs are specific to certain conditions, certain situations. Whereas thyroid gland is kind of, it goes everywhere. So that's why I am, I am reiterating that every cell requires thyroid hormones for the functioning of our body. And they, they regulate the growth and they regulate the ultimate metabolism. And uh, they are located uh, in the lower part of the neck, uh, below the Adam's apple, as we saw in the picture, around the windpipe or the trachea. It has two wings, the left wing and the right wing, and uh, it's connected by a bridge called Ismus. And uh, thyroid uses iodine and that is needed to make the hormones okay so there are some foods that we have iodine t3 and t4 are the main hormones released by the thyroid gland to run our body so as we know we did review in the beginning the pituitary gland works with all the other glands and of course pituitary and hypothalamus releases the hormones and then it reaches to different glands and they in turn also release certain hormones and working together as a team they do what needs to happen to remain healthy and maintain the homeostasis so that is what this is referring to and uh, of course the thyroid gland also makes hormone calcitonin and that is involved in the calcium metabolism and stimulating uh, bone cells to add calcium to the bone. So these are some pictures to amplify the thyroid gland, larynx, trachea, isthmus and uh, another one with the right and left, Adam's apple, trachea. So that's about the thyroid. The front view of thyroid and the back view of the thyroid would give us those four yellow dots. Those are the parathyroid. What parathyroid does? Let's take a look at it. So we have calcium in our blood we have calcium in our bone. Once we eat through intestine, through blood, the calcium is stored in the bone and as and when needed, it goes into the blood. And parathyroid does what we call homeostasis. They try to strike the balance. And the hormone they release is called para, parathormone. Okay. So depending upon the need, they do the movement of the calcium from bones to blood, from blood to bones. If there is 
hypo, if there is hyper, if there is deficiency, if there is surplus. As simple as that. And as I said, that they basically do the homeostasis. And that pretty much covers the basics of thyroid and parathyroid. When we come back, we'll take a look at what what happens um, if something goes wrong. But let me let me have one more thought here. So just like pituitary gland and hypothalamus, they work together, right? Then they uh, we go down to thyroid and parathyroid glands. So. This presentation series is intended for the field partners, underwriters and customers. So obviously like a pituitary gland and hypothalamus, they work together, thyroid and parathyroid glands work together, field partners and underwriters work together to ultimately serve you, the customer. Okay. We'll come back and we'll take a look at the disorders to move forward with our endocrine system. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.